In problem number 21 of section 2.2, uh, we're given a function, or a constant function, and asked to show that um, the Riemann sum of this function on a closed interval AB that it's constant on um, is the same no matter what partition we choose and no matter what sample set we choose. Um, and we're asked to show that it's actually equal to C times B minus A, which is the length of the interval. And intuitively, this makes sense because, um, say, if we have uh, the interval AB and we have some constant function, well, the Riemann sum would be kind of the area of the um, underneath the curve here, or underneath the, the line, which of course is just the length of the interval times. Um, times the height of the kind of square, which is just the const constant c. So it makes sense that it should be c times the length of the interval. Uh, but we'll show that using partitions and um, sample sets that that actually is true. Uh, so let's let uh, p equal x0, x1, all the way up to xn be our partition, and um, s be equal to um, s1 up to sn be our sample set. Right, well then, uh, the Riemann sum is equal to the sum from 1, or i equals uh, 1 to n of f of s i times uh, delta x i, which delta x i is just equal to uh, is just equal to x i minus x i minus 1. Uh, and also note that since f is a constant function, or is at least constant on the interval a to b, and um, all the sample points are within that inter within those intervals or within that interval. Um, this is just c for each sample point, so we can pull that constant out. We're left with c times the sum from i equals one to n of x i minus x i minus one. Now, finally, notice that this is a uh, telescoping sum. Actually, before I go on, I probably should say one more thing. If this is a partition of the interval, you should have that the first point is equal to A and the last point equal to B. Um, so now I'll go ahead, uh, if we move on and uh, compute this telescoping sum, uh, we see that this is equal to C times we'll have uh, minus x0 plus xn, which if we rearrange and substitute a and b, we get c times b minus a. 